Hello everyone, welcome to this Microsoft 365 hands-on demo and in this video we are going to show you how you can effectively manage shared mailboxes using the updated Exchange Admin Center and you know the shared mailboxes are useful for teams that need a common email address for communication and in this video we have few objectives that we are going to cover first one will be a shared mailbox how you can create then how you can assign members to the shared mailbox how you can set up permission access and use the shared mailbox convert a user mailbox to a shared mailbox and how to delete the shared mailbox so let's begin and let's create the shared mailbox first so right now we are connected to the Microsoft 365 admin center and on the left panel let's click to the exchange admin center act and let's click to open it and once it open then navigate to the recipients and here you have the option mailboxes so click to the mailboxes option and here you can see that we have already a shared mailbox which i'm right now going to delete to show you how to create the shared mailbox and how to assign user to the shared mailbox and this is stuff we have already discussed that why we are having this single user here because this user have the license now here we are going to click to add a shared mailbox and here we are going to name it and let's say the display name for the shared mailbox will be team and the email address we're going to create is a team01 b2 services and it's up to you which domain you choose and once you provide all this detail then click to the create so we have successfully created a shared mailbox named team01 with the email address team01 at b2bservices.com now let's assign a member to this mailbox and this is quite an easy step to perform because in the same mailbox option here as you have already opened the shared mailbox the one that you have created the team and once once it opens switch to the delegation tab and here you can see under read and manage full access click to edit and here you have this add members button click to this and add your licensed user to this shared mailbox and then confirm and click now we've assigned members who can access and send emails using this shared mailbox next let's see how they can use it in an outlook so to let's open the outlook.office.com so let me paste the link to open the outlook.office.com and here we are going to select use another user and here we are going to type the email address which is already there then click next and here we need to provide the email address now here you can see that you have successfully logged in to your user mailbox and click on the left profile icon top right and here select to open another mailbox and when you click here so here it required the mailbox name so type the shared mailbox email address so let's copy the email address from here which is team01 at the rate b2p services and then click to open now you can see that and it has opened in the new tab now you can see that team members can access the shared mailbox directly in the outlook web app and if you are using the Outlook desktop app, it will automatically appear in the left pane under their account. And now it's time to convert a user mailbox to a shared mailbox. So let's go back to the Exchange Admin Center. And here again, we will go to the mailboxes and we need to select the user mailbox that you wanted to convert. And once you click here, so here on the top, you will see some messages, some options. And once this window appeared, then click to the others. And here you're going to find this option convert to a shared mailbox. So click to this link. And first it will ask for the permission. And then click to confirm. 
And here you can see the mailbox is being converted from regular type to the shared type. So if a user leaves or if a department requires a common mailbox, so you can convert a regular user mailbox into a shared mailbox without needing a license, and the mailbox will retain its previous data. So this conversion has been done successfully. Now remove the check from here and refresh the status. And here you can see that the status of this mailbox has been changed as a shared mailbox. Now how to delete the shared mailbox? So simply you need to select the mailbox and click to the delete button. Then confirm the changes. So if you no longer need a shared mailbox, you can delete it from the ACK, from the Exchange Admin Center. However, note that deleted mailbox are retained for 30 days and can be restored within that period. So that's it for this tutorial on managing shared mailboxes in ACK Exchange Admin Center. We've covered creating a shared mailbox, assigning members, setting permissions, accessing the mailbox in Outlook, converting a user mailbox and deleting a shared mailbox.